Hi guys, welcome to today's makeup tutorial. Today I'm doing the soft glowy glam. Um, the eye makeup was using the Primark palette, which is this one. And yeah, if you want to get this look, please keep on watching and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you. So to start off with, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Paulus Putty Primer. I'm going in with my usual Maybelline Matte and Paulus in 250. And I want my skin to look still like skin, so I'm not going to do too much of that. I'm just doing a thin layer, as you can still see like my beauty spa and you still see the pigmentation underneath the skin but I'll go in with concealer next anyway. I'm just pressing this in and now I'm going to go in with my Revolution Coat Canvas Concealer. And I'm just blending that up into my cheekbone and down the side of my nose. And then I'm just doing the jaw area. I usually just like to blend it all in with this. I'm going to go straight in with my eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take the Morphe palette. I'm going to take this cream shade here. You can just use a translucent powder, but I feel like this adds an extra dose of pigment. So that's why I'm just using this colour. As a setting powder on my eyelids. And then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. HD powder. So I just pop it wherever I popped my concealer and then I'm just going to let that kind of bake, it's not really a little bit baking and then I'm going to take peachy shades from my rose palette, my new Primark palette and I'm just going to, oh, that was close call, so I'm just going to take this shade from the Primark palette and I'm just going to use a fluffy brush and pop this on my brush and I'm going to pop this all over my lid and my crease I'm popping it into the centre So once I pop that as a base, it isn't overly pigmented, it's quite a subtle colour. I'm then going to go in back with the Rose Quartz palette and I'm going to take this deeper shade here. And then I'm just going to pack that again onto the outer corners and blending it up. And as you can see, I'm taking that quite high. And then I'm going to go back in with the Primark palette. And I'm just going to take the same fluffy brush and just go in with this deeper shade here. And I'm just focusing this on the outer part of my eye. I'm doing this quite softly as well. Don't want it to be overly dramatic. So I'm just popping that on the outer part of my eyes and then I'm going to go back into the crease and just blend that inwards. Then I'm going to go in with a paler shade here. I'm just going to pop that on the inner part of my eye. And that's just going to brighten up a little bit more. 
that peachy shade again, which is Flamingo. And I'm just going to pop that all around with my eyes. I can afford to go a bit deeper. I'm just popping that underneath like so. I'm just really buffing that into my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the brown shade again and just pop this on the outer edges of my eyes. So I'm just going to pop on the mascara. Great. I'm just going to let that mascara sit there for a minute, otherwise I'll just make a mess. If I try and move it straight away. And then I'm just going to go in with my MAC Dark Deepest. I'm just going to take my e.l.f. highlighting brush, but I do like this to contour because it's really soft and sculpted. I'm just going to focus this product at the top of my cheekbones. I'm not bring it too far down to this area because I will want to brighten that up a bit in a minute. And then I like to contour more with the powder so I'm just going to gently go down the side of that part of my nose and then this part of my nose. And then I'm going to go back in with my concealer. I'm just going to take my Primark PS Brow Colour. I'm just going to take the powder part of this. And I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows with this. And then I'm going to take my Maybelline Liquid Eyeliner. I'm just going to focus this eyeliner on the outer corner of my eyes. And then I'm going to pop some glue on my Demi Wispies. I'm going to go back in with a bit of my MAC Dark Deepest. And I'm just going to take that Flamingo shade that I was using earlier. And I'm just going to pop this on this part of my face. And just add a nice flush of colour. And just down my nose. I'm going to go in with a little bit of my Doll Beauty highlight. And I'm just going to pop this on the highest points of my face. And then I'm just going to pop this where my brow bone is. Going to be really extra. And I'm going to go in with Fenty Beauty, um, how many carrots? I'm just going to pop it on top of the Shine Bright one. And I'm not going to use too much, but I'm just blending it in with my fingers. And it just gives that blinding highlight look. I actually really like the mixed as well. I mean, I love it on its own too, but this is more of a warm kind of glowy look, so I don't want to be doing too much silvery shades. It just looks so nice. And then I'm just popping a bit on my Cupid's bow. I'm going to take the Silk Brows product, which is just a brow soap. 
and I'm just going to take my usual Revolution Glow Spray. I'm just going to mix that in. And then I have to hold this funny because I broke the spoolie. But I'm just going to brush my brows up with this. Really push in there as well to get all your brows lifted. I'll show you the difference between my brows in a second because it does make such a difference. Go back in and fix some. Look at the difference. This one is a tiny bit higher naturally anyway, but it definitely does make a difference. So I'm just going to go and do this side now. It does dry quite fast this as well but it gives such a nice look you just have to really dig into your brows and shape them upwards so that is my eyebrows done and the last product for my face is just the setting spray I'm then going to go in with my lipstick and I think I'm going to go in with the Kiko Milano Pen Smart Fusion Pencil in the shade 504 which is practically just the same as my lip colour actually so I might go in with a bit of a darker one I'm going to go in with 532 by Kiko Milano or Kiko whatever it's called I never know if it's called Milano too but I'm just going to go in with that and shade in my lips slightly I love this shade because if you do have a warmer complexion it suits it better. Um, I find it really hard to find new colours for my skin because a lot of them are really really pale so this one's really nice. It applies so smoothly. I've used so many other brands and they just don't apply the same. And then going in with my MAC Cosmetics lipstick in a bit of bubbly and this is quite pale so I'm just going to pop this on the inner part of my lips and this is the finished look I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe and please hit the notification bell